I've never met anybody that is so nice and so kind and understanding and very well respected. He's a good guy, you know, like he's always thinking about other people, you know. One of the most important things you can learn in life, and of course it's really true in business, is to love people, like people, and learn how to work with all of them. Andy Wells grew up in the 1940s in a small one-room house on the Red Lake Reservation in Minnesota. Andy and his mom, dad, and sister worked together living off the land, selling wood, and raising cattle and chickens. But it taught me some really good uh, basic skills that have served me my whole life. Uh, you know, to get up early, to uh, be responsible for what you do. Uh, and it got me started in some of the enterprising because we had to cut the posts, uh, prepare them, then take them out and sell them. And we began to see the entire scope of a small business from beginning to end. He says that his dad taught him a lot about the business world. But my dad was an investor and I learned that, that when you take uh, whatever you earn, you reinvest it instead of spending it. For the most part, he invested the money we made back into uh, growing our little business. Andy Wells started Wells Technology with a passion to succeed. Uh, Wells Technology started uh, back in 1989, uh, just myself and my wife and my son when we incorporated. We had $1,300 and we bought an old machine and they started developing uh, tools. And we tried many things that weren't successful, but during six months of time, we came up with an air power scissor for cutting up chickens. That one really became successful for us. And that kind of launched us into a, an era where we had some cash flow and some funding coming in. And I never envisioned what we have here today when I first started. And I started in a two-car garage and I thought, wow, someday if I have an employee, that would be great. And then one day when I got an employee, I thought, well, if we have a separate shop, maybe just a little bigger, that would be great. And of course, it just kept growing and you know, one addition after another. Well, we were making these air power tools and we found bolts and screws and other things we could make and started marketing them to aerospace companies and uh, all kinds of electronic industries. So that's grown now into about, uh, we have 16,000 different products along that line. Um, and totally, um, the whole industry has just been growing about 18% a year for us. Andy has invested much of his success back into the community. His inspiration was born one day when a young man applied for a job with Andy. However, the man had served time in prison, so Andy said no. And as he walked back to the car, I could see a lady in the car and two little children's faces. And when I looked at them, I wondered how I would feel walking back to my family when nobody wanted me. So I thought, maybe I can do something about it. Maybe it's time to change. So I ran out and I told him, I looked a little further at your application, sir, would you come back Monday for an interview? And he lit up like a birthday candle and so did his girlfriend. And thus, in 2006, the nonprofit paid apprentice program called the Wells Academy began. And so far, the Academy has helped 58 young adults gain hands-on training and marketable job skills. I would have never thought I'd be in a machine shop, and assembling, and plus running the machine at times, you know, but he's taught me quite a bit. I see a lot of positive things, you know, because this has helped me become more responsible, you know, and kind of just see like from him and his success and his family, you know, like, you know, maybe someday I could, I could be an entrepreneur, maybe I could have a shop. When you get to meet someone that has such high expectations of you, even though you don't think you have them expectations, I mean, he has them for you, and that encouraged me to want to be better. I learned that you have to invest your time and your money into something that will come back to you again. And so that's carried us, that philosophy, through all the way. So here, when you see our business today, it's been basically uh, 30 years of investing our time and uh, resources back into the business, and we continue to do that. And Junior Achievement is a great way to, um, to help teach that and train young people who maybe never thought about it a whole lot before. Our young people today um, should see the potential of being an entrepreneur or part of an entrepreneuring team. Uh, it's one of the great, uh, I guess, dreams and possibilities in America. And if you don't see it yourself, get people to help you find it.